Grandad Dog's Garage. This is Grandad Dog's Garage. Here are Peppa and her family in their car. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look! There's Danny and Grandad Dog! Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No, you've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! All the air has gone out of the tyre. Will Grandad Dog have to rescue us? I think so. Grandad Dog speaking. I see. Don't panic, Mummy Sheep. I'm on my way. To the rescue! Can I go too? Hop aboard, Pepper. To the rescue! <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> Come to rescue you! Hooray! Grandad Dog is filling the tyre with air. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello, I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken. And Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Do something, Grandad Dog. Oh, I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good. Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. 
Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Moo! Hello, everyone. Must be off. <laughs> Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. <laughs> Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> 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 there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Recycling. Mr Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Mm. Hello, everyone. Must be off. <laughs> Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. Mm. Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. <laughs> Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? 
We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> the eye test. Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> Now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. 
I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper. You look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Pepper and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor. Doors opening. <laughs> This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <coughs> Pepper and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper I take a rubber stamp and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. 
Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pippa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> Recycling. Mr Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Mm. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. Mm. Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. 
and George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>